practice of embryology, realized that chick embryos developed in stages from his studies of hen's eggs in the fourth century BC. He did not give any details about these stages. As far as it is known from the history of embryology, little was known about the staging and classification of human embryos until the 20th century. For this reason, the descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th, 7th century. The only reasonable conclusion is that these descriptions were revealed to Muhammad from God. He could not have known such details because he was an illiterate man with absolutely, absolutely no scientific training. The first uh, stage is ad ad adapt, and you'll have to apologize my, for my pronunciation. Uh, this is from Surah uh, Tariq 6. He is created from a drop emitted. This Arabic term refers to the forceful emission of fluids which occurs during ejaculation in the male and ovulation in the female. The male secretions, called semen, contain the spermatozoa, and the female secretions, called follicular fluid, contain the ovum. This is the stage of fertilization and the uh, nutva, and after the, this is what we call the, the zygote, uh, referred to in the Quran as the nutva, and the nutva undergoes uh, division, which we call cleavage, as it passes down the uterine tube. And so these are the stages of the nutva here as it undergoes uh, cell division. Uh, it is, this term is used several times in the Quran when referring to the beginning of development. After examining all these references, it is concluded that nutva re refers to the small drop of fluid containing the sperm and the ovum. The term nutva is also used to refer to the dividing zygote as it undergoes